So AOC just absolutely ended right wing West Virginia Senator, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin on Twitter today with one single JPEG. It was glorious and a picture really does include a thousand words. So Joe Manchin yesterday did an interview piece, whatever, with Washington Examiner, a right wing source, basically saying that all of these kooky leftists in the Democratic Party don't actually speak for us. We don't believe what they believe. We believe in basically changing nothing at all. And that's our party. And don't let the AOCs and the Bernies and the Ilhans and the Rashidas of the world tell you otherwise. So basically, here's what he said on Twitter. Defund the police. Defund my butt. I'm a proud West Virginia Democrat. We are the party of working men and women. We want to protect Americans' jobs and health care. We do not have some crazy socialist agenda, and we do not believe in defunding the police. So basically what he's saying there is people like AOC and a lot of grassroots supporters, the actual base of the Democratic Party through things like Black Lives Matter and other groups, they don't actually represent the party. Only, you know, right wing de- corporate Uh, Democrats like Joe Manchin represent the party, which is to say they stand for basically nothing at all beyond the most vague general statements. We've already talked about this, but AOC has obviously challenged this view. So what she did was simply in one picture end him. This was a picture, I'm going to put it up on screen, it was in the thumbnail as well, of her and Manchin at a recent State of the Union address by Donald Trump. And Manchin is there applauding the president, as he often did, because he agrees with Donald Trump a lot more than the average Democrat often does, and AOC there staring clearly angry and frustrated by what she's hearing because what she's hearing is bad for her constituents and for the broad and diverse American working class. And I don't know if the intent for her was to actually stare down Joe Manchin. Maybe it is, but certainly the picture gives off that impression. And it really does capture the visible frustration that a lot of young, diverse working class Democrats have towards the party establishment. It's the per- Perfect metaphor, a young Latina working class woman staring down one of the biggest blights on the Democratic Party, especially in the Senate, in Joe Manchin. This party that just during elections especially cannot survive, let alone win, it cannot survive without the donations and labor and energy and enthusiasm and volunteering of young black Latina indigenous people then once the election happens, they throw those people back in the closet. Win, lose, or draw. If they lose, they blame those people. And if they win, they say those people really didn't have anything to do with it. And we don't govern on behalf of those people. And don't worry, Wall Street. And don't worry, oil companies. And don't worry, insurance companies. We won't actually give the people that made our power possible any power at all. And so AOC is done with it. Rashida Tlaib is done with it. Bernie Sanders is done with it. Cori Bush, Jamal Bowman, Ilhan Omar, they're all done with it. They're not going to be silent. And so we have a situation here where the party continues to spit on its cherished base and they expect the base to be silent. Now, you also have to read in the Manchin statement because it's very telling. In one way, he's right. The Democrats did not run and defund the police. They didn't. The the Democratic Party did not support that position. So it's fair to say that, you know, the Democrats in general, at least, do not support that proposition. That's true. But everything else he says in this is full of buzzwords that that underline and sort of skirt over a really ugly truth. When he says working people here, working class people, he means white people. Because when you talk about the issues that matter to the broad, diverse working class, they include things that matter to white working class people too. But, you know, black men, black women, black people basically being taken out in the street by police systematically, that is a class issue. Not everyone affected is working class, but disproportionately they are. There is an intersection between how police respond to black people in general and poor and working class black people in particular. 
When you want to talk about the issues that matter to the working class, you can't just assume that it's white working class people in white absolute majority states and communities. To do so means you don't actually care about the working class. And Joe Manchin likes to say that he supports the rights of working people. He wants to fight for health care and protect people's health care. The man does not support Medicare for all. He's actually gone on networks recently and said we can barely afford Medicare for some right now, indicating that he thinks, if anything, that America gives too much health care to people through public assistance right now, that even the seniors based Medicare program as it exists is too opulent and too expensive. And so this man says he, he's protecting the health care of working class people isn't he's not protecting them. If he actually cared, he would be fighting for Medicare for all, which would give everyone health care. Even Biden's public option leaves 10 million plus without health care. Who's protecting those people's health care, Joe? It's not you or the corporate Dems. It's AOC and grassroots activists on the ground and other people in Congress, a few other progressives. And when you say you're fighting for jobs... You, you, and you oppose a Green New Deal and you oppose a, a program that not just now in short term extractive industries, but a long term project to build an equitable, humane, sustainable, broadly prosperous economy for all like you don't support those things. And so some people are like, why is AOC going after Joe Manchin? Why is she doing this? Where's the division here? Do you notice, guys? How it's never the right wing Democrats sowing discord. It's always the left, even though in the last week, especially it's been almost universally corporate Democrats in the House and Senate or Biden re Republicans like John Kasich, who have been attacking the left and the left simply responds by saying, hey, look, Medicare for all is popular. Green New Deal is popular. No one who ran on a Medicare for all platform in the election lost their seat. Only one person who ran on a Green New Deal lost their seat. Our policies are popular. Every single person that supported a Medicare for all plan in the House, even in swing districts, they won their seat. Don't blame us for your failures. And so I just want to get this out there, that AOC and the rest of the progressives, they're not going away. The Joe Manchins of the world, he's barely a Democrat as it is, but he is the failed past of the party. There's a glorious future waiting if the party actually smartens up and listens to its base and stops treating its base like the enemy.